Hi there. Um, in the previous video, uh, I left this question for you to answer it on your own, um, where they're asking uh, for the area of this trapezium. How do we know that this is a trapezium? Two parallel sides, two parallel sides. These two arrows are telling us that these two sides, the 8.2 and the 12.4, are actually parallel sides. And the dimension line is actually an extension to each parallel side. And the vertical distance, the vertical distance between the two parallel sides is 10 meters. So, there is no need to prove that the vertical distance between the two parallel sides is actually 10 meters. Because, like I said, the dimension lines are actually an extension to each parallel side. Now, you must also check, so we know that this is a trapezium, two parallel sides and the vertical distance between the two parallel sides is known as well and all dimensions are in meters so we can immediately find the area of this trapezium so the steps that you should go through in mind what is the two dimensional shape that we have in this question it is a trapezium. How do, you know, how do we know that it is a trapezium? What do I need to find the area of a trapezium? We need two parallel sides and the vertical distance between the two parallel sides. Now, so two parallel sides and the vertical distance between the two parallel sides. At last, you ask yourself, can I now find the area of the trapezium? Yes, we can, because we know that the length of the two parallel sides are 8.2 and 12.4, and the vertical distance between the two parallel sides is 10 meter. So we can now write the rule of finding the area of a trapezium so area of a trapezium is equal to half times in brackets the sum of the two parallel sides times the vertical distance between the two parallel sides so we write the rule and then we substitute in the rule so it's 1 over 2 in brackets 8.2 plus 12.4 we close the brackets and then times 10 meters this is now ready to be inserted in the calculator and if you do so you're gonna end up with 103 meter squared so the area is always calculated calculated in millimeter squared centimeter squared meter squared and so on now have a look at this question and try to answer it on your own there is a little trick about this question like we said we know that this is a trapezium this is the vertical distance how do we know it's vertical here? Because this little box is telling us that the um, angle between this horizontal side and this vertical side is actually 90 degrees. As well as the angle between this horizontal side 
and this vertical side is actually 90 degrees so this is a proof that these two horizontal sides are parallel and this dotted line is the vertical distance between them so a trapezium of an area so the area is given to us 140 centimeter squared so the measurement unit is in centimeter squared has parallel sides 10 centimeter apart so when they say 10 centimeter apart it means that the vertical distance between the two parallel sides is actually 10 centimeter again the measurement unit in centimeter and centimeter so far and one of the parallel sides is 16 centimeter long so one of them is 16 centimeter long they want you to find the other parallel side so the steps that you should go through you write the rule you substitute in the rule and then you apply opposite operations or inverse operations to find the missing side please try it on your own and we will discuss this question in the next video thank you so much for watching sharing and subscribing to my youtube channel